Hi, I am Dr. Ayda Bashkir Martin, and in this video, I will talk about anterolateral abdominal wall muscles, anatomy, and physiology. Be sure to click the subscribe button below so I can help you succeed. And make sure to like, share, and comment below to encourage me to create more videos like this. Anterolateral wall of the abdomen has five muscles. We will discuss in details, but their name rectus abdominis, pyramidalis, external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis. The posterior abdominal wall muscles are quadratus lumborum, psoas major and minor, and iliacus. In this picture, I frame only the posterior wall muscles with the blue rectangle shapes to point out, point out for your easy finding. We will not discuss the posterior wall, abdominal wall muscle in this video. However, I have another video coming. Please feel free to watch the posterior abdominal wall muscle video for more information about it. Abdominal wall muscles run superiorly from the cyphoid process of sternum and costal cartilages of the lower ribs anteriorly and lumbar vertebra posteriorly to the iliac crest, inguinal ligament, anterior superior iliac spine, pubic tubercle, crest, and pubic symphysis inferiorly. The five muscles of the anterolateral abdominal wall are divided into two groups. The first group has two vertical muscles situated near the midline of the body, rectus abdominis and pyramidalis. Rectus meaning straight, so these muscle fibers run vertically and labeled with F for your easy finding and pyramidalis, small triangle muscle labeled with K in this picture. Three flat muscles located laterally and stacked up top of each other the most outside layer called external oblique and labeled with G in this picture. Internal oblique labeled with H and transversus abdominis is the deepest layer and will be shown later. Uh, but you can see in the other small picture the transversus abdominis labeled with the blue rectangle for your understanding. Let's start studying one by one each. Rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis is long, paired muscle found either side of the midline in the abdominal wall. The rectus muscles split into two by the connective tissue lines lined vertically between them. The, we call this connective tissue linea alba or white line. The lateral borders of the muscles create a surface marking, which is known as the linea semilunaris. During pregnancy, at some point as, during the second semester, you may notice a dark brown line running down the middle of your abdomen on the skin. It's over the linea alba. It resulted because of increased melanin production. Your, that seeking color change over the linea alba. This line called linea nigra in that uh, time, a uh, black line, but it's not correct. Actually, it, in reality, it is dark brown and caused by overstimulation of melanocytes due to melanocyte stimulating hormone production by the placenta. The rectus abdominis muscle intersected by a fib fibrous strips known as tendinous intersections. These intersections are present usually at three levels. At the level of cyphoid process, the level of umbilicus, and midway between them. Tendinous intersection and the linea alba give rise to the six-pack seen in individuals with a well-developed rectus abdominis. You see the tendinous intersection shown with the number four and linea alba shown in number five in the picture. 
and rectus sheet. Rectus sheet is an aponeurosis formed by the five muscles of the abdomen and covers the muscle. You can see in the left side of the uh, picture, uh, you see the clear connective tissue covers the thin and clear flat uh, aponeurosis covers the rectus, we call rectus sheet. What is the or what are the functions of the rectus abdominis? It is an important postural and core muscle. Compress and hold the abdominal organs in place. With a fixed pelvis, contraction of rectus abdominis results in flexion of the lumbar spine. When the ribcage is fixed, contraction of the rectus abdominis results in a posterior pelvic tilt. It, say it plays an important role in force expiration and increase the intra-abdominal pressure uh, addition of the uh, lumbar spine flexion. Pyramidalis. This is a small triangular muscle labeled with the K in this picture. Uh, it found superficially to the rectus abdominis. It is located inferiorly with its base on the pubic bone and the apex of the triangle attached to the linea alba. And not everybody has this muscle. It absent in 20% of the population. So one out of the five people doesn't have it. Originates from the pubic crest and pubic symphysis before inserting to the linea alba. The function is it acts to tense the linea alba. External oblique is the largest and most superficial paired flat muscle in the abdominal wall. The external obliques get their name from their position in the abdomen, being most superficial layer as external and from the direction of their fibers which run diagonally across the sides of the abdomen inferomedially. That means these muscle fibers from in the same direction as if you were to put your hands in your pockets diagonally downward and from lateral from uh, to the medial as shown with black arrow on the photo and the muscle labeled with a yellow sticker for your uh, uh, taking your attention origins along the lateral side of the fifth ribs through the twelfth and insert into the cyphoid process the pubic tubercle and iliac crest of the pelvic bones. The functions are when both sides contract, it flexes the trunk. When only one side contracts, it helps you rotate an or lateral flexion of the trunk on the same side, ipsilateral lateral flexion, ipsilateral flexion, and contralateral, the other side, rotation of the trunk. trunk. So we can say uh, ipsilateral flexion of the trunk and contralateral rotation of the trunk done by external oblique. Inguinal ligament that is a um, structure formed by inferior border of external oblique muscle runs from the anterior spur iliac crest of the ilium to the pubic tubercle of the pubic bone halfway between the anterior spur iliac spine and pubic symphysis is the landmark for the femoral artery. So we use the inguinal ligament as a landmark. The middle of the, the linguinal ligament from the anterior spur iliac spine and pubic symphysis is the, the landmark to, f to locate femoral artery. I will show the inguinal ligament labeled in upcoming uh, pictures. Internal oblique. Internal oblique lies deeper to the external oblique. It is smaller and thinner in structure with its fibers running spheromedially. That means perpendicular to the fibers of the external oblique. You will see in this picture, uh, number one, the, the picture labeled with the number one is showing internal oblique and you see the arrow showing the, the direction of the fibers. It originated in the thoracolumbar fascia, anterior two thirds of the iliac crest and the iliopectinal arc, and insert into inferior borders of the lower three ribs and their costal cartilages, linea alba, and finally the aponeurosis of the rectus sheet. Functions It acts unilaterally for ipsilateral trunk rotation and side flexion. 
and if contracts bilaterally, compress the abdominal viscera, pushing them into the diaphragm, and acts as a forced expression muscle. And rectus is uh, uh, accepted as a forced expression muscle as well. Transversus abdominis is the deepest of the flat muscles. We transversally, that means parallel to ground, running fibers. The functions are the primary function is to stabilize the lumbar spine and pelvis and compression of abdominal content. Now, let's test your knowledge. Can you identify the muscles and structures of the anterolateral abdominal wall? Focus on the photo on the left, one, two, three. Can you guess what is uh, uh, number one? If you say internal oblique, you're right. Number two, external oblique. Number three, rectus abdominis. And five, linea alba, as shown in that picture. When you look the picture on the right, and you can see the J is showing the inguinal ligament like I promised you to show where inguinal ligament found. I hope you found this video helpful and remember to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so. Have a good day.